next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in this matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Try to establish that jab. Stuff the takedown, no problem. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Lock that kick to the body. 
Still a nice body kick left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Knee coming to the body is blocked. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Now to go in round one. Big ball from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. <laughs> nice one, two there. Missed with that attempt. Big head kick land. Oh, would you look at this? An Omanari roll right into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Down into his mouth. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Lee. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. I mean, how many can he take? Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy can so many strikes. This man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Oh, nice.
nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. And there's a takedown attempt. Big kick lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice body kick. What a punch. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable oh. to find the target. Oh, wow. You don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Let's go. Get him off here. Get him off. Two minutes now to go. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Head kick lands. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on the Oh, his opponent's got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh! And he's out. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yeah, left hook found its target. Way to hide that leg. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Final seconds here of round number two. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is really the thing.
second round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lou. Beautiful punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Damaging punch there. Trying to double up on that jab. Nice punch by Lee. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Just over three minutes to go. go. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice move of the body for him there. Very nice. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch. There. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Another beautiful takedown there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. He's having his way with him here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling is really being entertaining. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Good strike there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying. Oh, man. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block. He gets denied. Block. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. Just out. 
out of range with that kick attack. What a fight so far. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece. Oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do with it. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, right in the mount. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. Looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. see this very often. Most times it happens at a family barbecue. Huh. The only time that he's out. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. The first pattern of the heat is not as bad as trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Going to the body there with the right kick. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent goes that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended as you would expect it to. Slips the punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Checks that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice trick punch. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the punch starts to slow down. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? And they separate. Head kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Lee's shot is blocked. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major Ready? takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level <laughs> Look at the whip action that comes from this goal in that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Massive head kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, single collar tie here. Just out of range with that left hook. Back to the feet now. That kick blocked by Lee. Another quick position. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a ton behind it. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the Nicely pipe. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. you got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed or top. It does not matter if you get your guard pass. you got to just start throwing up submissions and hope by causing action you can latch onto something to end the fight. Oh, big punch land. Big leg kick land. Switches his stance oh, again. Big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. Allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. 90 seconds to go in the fight. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Great punch. Less than a minute to go to decide this one. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Oh! He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Some nice back and forth action here. Effective punch there by Lee. Take down. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Takedown defense holds up. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 49 46 declaring the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon Lee all right so there he is the celebration is on he tried to leave the judges out of it tonight was unable to do that but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless he's your winner by unanimous decision and you've got to feel good about that you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting the victory you should be very proud of this point.